You like homework? <laughs> Nobody likes homework. I don't like homework either, but that's what you need to improve your nail and your skin problems, okay? Hey, how are you? Pretty good. Good, good. So Will is here to get uh, his nails taken care of. You have some fungus here, you see between the toes? Yeah. Yeah, this is fungus, so I'm gonna give some medicine. Also, these fungus uh, between the toes a lot of times come from the nails. Yeah. So I wanna take a little sample as I cut yeah. them to see if, if you have fungus, if it is what kind of fungus, okay? Mm -hmm. And then let's see this side, you have some fungus here. You got them all, all between the toes. So yeah. I'm gonna instruct you how to keep the toes uh, dry. Yeah and then put medication there right. and then we have to rotate your shoes don't wear the same shoe all the time okay mm. also i see your toes a little shorter i, I took x-rays and take a look at it you have a short fourth toe on both sides but this is really short yeah, yeah somebody else has a short toe who has a short toe who's got your short toe yeah, my sons i have a couple of sons uh-huh and uh Toes like the right foot. Uh, did, did that bother them? No. Nope. Okay. Sometimes um, I've operated on these toes where I lengthen these bones right here to mm -hmm. keep it the same. And same thing over here, I can lengthen those and do it. A lot of ladies have problem because they don't want to look like that, right? Cosmetically. Mm -hmm. So they don't, most people don't have pain with it. But it's called the brachydactyly, which means the shortened toe, and it's genetic, obviously. Mm -hmm. And it can hurt people, but most of the time it's just hurting them emotionally because they don't feel good about the way they, the toes look. Mm -hmm. So I ended up um, lengthening the toes, and we can do it very slowly by putting a little machine there and then slowly extract the bone, and then amazingly your your bone regenerates to fill in the gap we okay yeah okay so i'm gonna also cut and take some of these nails and send it out for um sampling okay yeah okay. biopsy to see if we can find out if you have fungus if you do what kind of fungus that we can treat that that'll help us treat the skin as well okay, okay. so so those short toes never bothered you, right? So short? Yeah, the short short ones never bothered you. This, to, this toe is kind of coming up, as you can see. You see yeah. that toe a little bit up? No, it doesn't bother. Doesn't bother you? Okay, good, good. Do your, any, any of your daughters got those? <laughs> no, just the just no. boys? No, just the boys. Just the boys? Yeah. Well, thank God, huh? If the girls had it, they would let you know, they'll call you and then say, you created this problem, so you pay for it. <laughs> it could have been expensive. How long your nails been like this? For a while? What, that toe now? Yeah. That's the one which, which you roll over with the yeah. shopping cart. Yeah, the when shopping cart went over this. That's why it's a little tender here, huh? It's really hard. It's a nail. Yeah, yeah. So it's the shopping cart ran over this about a month ago, you said? Yeah. Yeah, this nail was very thick, so when you got run over by the shopping cart, it would really hurt you. So we're going to grind it down real nicely. Mm -hmm. So thin it out. You can soak the area. You've been soaking it? A little bit and Epsom salt oh, occasionally yeah not, not like I should yeah you should soak it every day because that kind of calms down the inflammation and it kind of mm -hmm. helps to heal that area because when this nail was really thick if you got something run over this then this nail becomes very very sensitive probably that's what's going on right now sorry you okay Is that hurting a little bit when I'm pressing? No, you're okay. Yeah, I'm okay? Okay. Yeah, you have one, these nails are pretty thick and we'll definitely work on those. Okay. 
But you you have a very uh, bad um, athlete's foot between the toes too, so which oh, needs yeah. to be treated. Okay, we'll give you different medicine for that. And you have to rotate your shoes. They've done studies where they found out that fungus actually eats eats the materials that are in your shoes. Oh, yeah. yeah, not only they like the nails and your skin. But he also likes all the materials that are inside the shoes, surprisingly. So that's why you have to rotate your shoes. Don't wear the same shoe two days in a row, okay? Right. And then the one that you're not using, you should put the antifungal spray. You can go to pharmacy and get an antifungal spray mm -hmm. and then put, the, put them on there and then let it rest. You can sunbathe it a little bit let it out in the sun, not too long because it can ruin your shoe, but sunbathe it a little bit, maybe five, 10 minutes out in the sun. That also kills- The shoe itself? Yeah, the shoe itself. It's mm -hmm. gonna, don't let it out too long though because it's gonna, it's gonna mess up the whole shoe, but do it like five, 10 minutes because that's what kills the fungus as well and mm -hmm. bacteria and everything else. Sun is by far the most uh, antiseptic, strongest antiseptic out there kills the virus, fungus, parasites, everything. Bacteria, all of that mm. under the sun. So I highly recommend people to be out in the sun, go barefoot, get your nails exposed and get the shoes exposed. Mm -hmm. So when you do that, then you'll be able to get rid of the fungus in your nails and your shoes and your between your toes and everything else, okay? Also, we have some calluses here, which I'm gonna also clean up at the same time. So I'm gonna clean out the, you have a little bit here and a little bit at the bottom, which I'm gonna clean up as well. Um, have you ever used any fungal cream or anything like that for your skin or your nails? No. No? So I'm gonna give you uh, some medicine for the um, for your skin between the toes. Mm -hmm. There's a you have a little callus here. I'm gonna clean up as well. Yeah, I'm gonna give you some medicine for between the toes, and you have to keep the um, between the toes very dry. So I recommend um, your hair dryer. Do you have one? Uh, right. I think she has. She has one. You may have to borrow some. And then after you come out of the shower, mm -hmm. you put a hair dryer between the toes so you dry those areas, okay? And, the, and put the medication there, okay? Mm -hmm. And that'll help to keep the area dry because fungus loves moisture. Without the moisture, fungus cannot grow, okay? Mm -hmm. So let's do that. Now I'm gonna Every yeah, every shower, just yeah. put a blow dryer for about a couple of minutes. You don't have to do it long, but just long enough so that um, so that you'll be able to dry the area and put the medication on. Mm -hmm. Also going to give you instruction to soak the area in Epsom salt that kills uh, all the fungus and also keep the area dry as well, okay? And that's going to help the nail as well as the between the toes. As this foot between the toes as well, okay? Yeah. And then we have a few other instructions that I give for um, overcoming fungus problems, uh, including cleaning between the toes and your nails when you're in the shower too, okay? Mm -hmm. So you use a, like an old toothbrush, yeah. put some soap on it, and then you uh, clean between the toes and your your nails, and all the nail bed and all the all the area around the nail, so that the area becomes very clean as well. Okay, because fungus loves dirty area, yeah. like your shoes and your socks and everything else, right? Yeah. yeah. So I highly recommend you start doing that. Once we find out what kind of fungus you have, then we'll put you on a whole program. I call it 30-day challenge. You're gonna do all these things that uh, 
environment that uh, allows not uh, fungus not to grow okay and then we give you a whole program so and then we give you homework you like homework <laughs> nobody likes homework i don't like homework either but that's what you need to improve your nail and your skin problems okay Huh? That's the only way to get anything done. Yeah. Okay, very good. All right. So I ground down some nails. We're going to do some more in the next visit. Okay. I don't want to do too much because it may hurt you. No. Okay. No, I know I need it. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to find out um, through the biopsy if you had a fungus, okay? Oh, okay. All right, very good. We'll take a...